I'm at WWE World here, Kurt's Country News Nation. We're going inside to see thousands of Philadelphians taking on WrestleMania 40. We are here in a place that's going to be filled with more than 70,000 members of the WWE Universe. We'll take you along on the journey I've had in Philly with the WWE faithful, talking to a number of WWE superstars, WWE legends, and a number of crazy, insane fans, one of whom even got a tattoo while I was talking to him. Like many of you, I've been a fan of WWE since I was a kid, so it was a dream come true, a bucket list item, to be here for WrestleMania 40. Had the chance to talk to one of the biggest stars in all of the industry, AJ Styles, about his WrestleMania experience, his career watching things go from the independent circuit to the biggest stage of them all, and his upcoming battle with LA Knight, the megastar of WWE. How are you feeling about the match coming up? Uh, well, I think I'm feeling pretty good about it. The fact that I'm going to hurt him and hurt him bad, you know, yeah. I mean, the megastar sounds ridiculous enough, but he's going to look ridiculous when I'm done with him. This has been one of the most interesting run-ups in terms of the how personal it's gotten. Going into people's houses, the cops have gotten involved. Uh, I think it was your, your wife was there. there you yeah. Know. Well, that, that's the thing. He made it personal. He came to my house, so he's got to pay the price. I'm not just going to beat him, I'm going to hurt him. You've performed on a number of grand stages throughout your career. Seeing just the scale of how WrestleMania itself has grown into a truly global phenomenon event, even just the type of media that covers these things has evolved and changed over the years. Just what's it like watching the evolution of just the business itself and you being one of the centerpieces of it? Well, it just goes to show that what we're doing is working. You know, and I mean, we got The Rock here. I mean, this guy's one of the biggest superstars in Hollywood and he's came back and he's dove deep into the story with Roman Reigns, Cody and Seth Rollins like this guy's not playing around so it's saying something to have guys like that in WWE and come back and I mean that that's the evolution of it right it's just like getting bigger and bigger and bigger we were one day now we're two days of WrestleMania because we couldn't fit it all in one day you know so that's special that's awesome here at WrestleMania world in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This is the scene thousands of fans have descended upon the Philadelphia Convention Center to do things like take pictures with the giant size WWE Heavyweight Championship belt. You can create your own entrance and walk out like a WWE superstar. Every kind of merch, every kind of t-shirt, every kind of product you've ever dreamed of is right here. So I'm here at the WWE Superstore in Philadelphia, the WrestleMania 40 takeover at the Philadelphia Convention Center. And I'm here with James. James, first, how old are you? Seven. He's seven years old, and he just got a, what is this? Tell me what we got here. A John Cena Legacy Belt. It's a John Cena Legacy WWE Championship Belt. Can you hold it out and show it for us? Wait, does this spin? Can I spin it? Oh my God, look at that. Okay, I gotta ask. Is John Cena your favorite? Yes. So when you came here, did you know you were going to walk away with that belt? No, I, I didn't even know it was here. So you didn't know. So when you saw it, what did you think? Oh, like, I need it. All right, I'm here with literally living legend, WWE Hall of Famer, Rey Mysterio. It's an honor to be talking to Thank you. Thank you very much. So there's been a lot of conversation in WrestleMania about family, right? You know, the, the bloodline and all of that, you know, the, the most you know, celebrated family dynasty of all time, they call themselves. But for you, this is a family business too. This is something that you have been, your entire family has been a part of for yes, so long. So just seeing this narrative of family unfold, what does that mean to you? I, first of all, I have to let the fans understand that this is very difficult for us to be able to fight with our family, even though we do it on a day-to-day -day basis. But at the end of the day, we end up squashing the beef and we make up. Here, it's impossible. Right. The beef continues. So it's, I can only imagine what The Rock and Roman Reigns and, and uh, the amount of power that they want to obtain in order to take Cody and Seth down is it's got to be intimidating at, at times, but you also think about Cody's family lineage right. and Dusty Rhodes. I mean, come on, you know, uh, 
And now we jump over just to an, uh, a bit of a story that began last year with me and Dominic. Uh -huh. That's For me as a father, it's hard yeah. to beat up my son. <laughs> but if I have to do it in order to teach him a lesson, I'm yeah. going to do it. On the flip side, you're also seeing you know, your son gets the most vocal reactions from the fan base. And I think that in all the performers I've ever talked to, the one thing you fear is getting no reaction, that the audience right. is just indifferent to you. On some level, even though it's not always great, even though it's not as a father what you would necessarily want your son to be doing, just as a performer who knows this business, is there any sense of pride when you see that your son is getting, that there's an emotional connection with the fans? 100%. You know, as a father, I'm very prideful to, to see his growth, to see how far he's gone in such a short amount of time and to see the they always say whether they they cheer or boo as long as they say something or you hear something from the fans and Dom is actually getting that so yes there is a sense of pride and and uh, uh, an accomplishment on my end to, to say okay broke him in now he's on his own road he's taking his own path and to see that growth has been incredible right now there's some five, six, seven-year-old either seeing a highlight of you on Instagram or YouTube or TikTok, yep. and they're gonna go home that night and try to do a 619 on their pillow. Like, you <laughs> know, because that's how we, I mean, all of us who grew up as wrestling fans grew up beating up our pillow. Yeah. Try to emulate what you guys do. Like, what do you tell that kid right now who's gonna do that tonight and body slam a pillow? Please do not try that at home. <laughs> I'm here at WWE World where people are literally lining up to get inked with WWE characters and symbols. And right now, we got Mike Garcia getting a tattoo. Mike, what tattoo are you getting? We're getting Stone Cold, man, the, the greatest wrestler of all time. Did you ever think coming here that you would walk away with a tattoo? Not at all, not at all. But I've been watching pro wrestling for about 30 years. Stone Cold's been my favorite wrestler forever, man. And it's, it's an honor to have him on me now for, for life. Uh, yeah. Do you, do you have a spouse that's going to come home going, where did you get that? She's right behind you, but she already approved. Don't worry about it. I got okay. it all approved and stuff. She's you right behind you right now. That's, that's right. Yeah, I got Stone Cold, and then I got Bray Wyatt right here. Rest in peace. He meant, uh, he meant a lot to me, and so it's just an honor to be here at WrestleMania 40 with my two boys, and yeah, man, Stone Cold, the GOAT. How many WrestleManias have you been to? I've been to about 10. My boys have been, and my boys have been to their third straight. Oh, my yeah. gosh. This is awesome. <laughs> And we're going to keep it going. We'll be in Minneapolis next year. Just keep it going. How old do the boys have to be to get a tattoo here? Oh, man. Uh, the, the one looking at me, he wants one now. But we'll stick with at least 18. At All least right, 18. Brother. All right, Mike, yeah. thanks so much for talking to us. No, thank you guys. I appreciate it. All right. All right, News Nation, do you know what time it is? It is Tiffy time. I'm here with WWE superstar Tiffany Stratton, who has become one of the biggest sensations. I'll tell you, I went to a show in Dallas. It was a SmackDown show, I think very recently and the biggest reaction that i saw from the audience was everyone just doing this really like anytime wow. you know they play these vignettes before the show yeah. you know different social media moments and you come up and everyone's just like wow it is I love that. amazing to see that type of organic growth happen and support yeah. for you what's it like now when you come out there and you see people all around you doing that signal it's insane because you know in nxt we had such a small crowd um so being in front of a crowd like that is just so nerve-wracking in itself and the fact that I, I won them over and that they're now cheering for me and you know doing the little tippy time thing is it's so amazing and it's so reassuring. I mean we're in this moment culturally where we have very powerful strong badass women whether it's Beyonce whether it's Taylor Swift it, it, we're at this moment where women can do anything and young women I think are seeing this and it's not just it's it's not just tippy time it's it's our time exactly it's women's time yes i totally agree with that i think you know women especially recently have been getting so much praise online so much praise just like with the more the tv time and stuff so i think women are really taking over right now so if you're talking to right now there's there's some 12 year old 14 year old 6 year old watching this emulating you i mean they're they're, they're showing up at school and they're probably doing this to their <laughs> friends right now well, what does that mean to you know that there are these these young impressionable girls who get bombarded every day with all kinds of garbage all kinds of trolling all kinds of judgments thrown at them but they're looking at you as someone that they want to emulate i think honestly that's like kind of why i do this you know as a little girl you're so influenced you're so easily influenced and hopefully i can be a good role model 
for these young women and, and kind of show them, you know, anything that you want to do in life, you can accomplish. Um, just hopefully they're wearing pink while they're doing it. <laughs>